Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's a rainy day. It's beautiful outside, but it's rainy day on this card. A um, couple weeks ago or last week, I don't know when this video is going to be live. I had shared this card on a live event and uh, so many requests. So um, I decided to do the lighthouse in the rainy day, but it's a lot different from the other one because really we don't stamp the background. It's already done for you. Here it is. This is the paper from Serene uh, Sil um, Serene uh, Scenery. And it is, you get the one with the sky. I didn't use that one. I used the one that looked like a, not this one neither. Uh, it is, let me, maybe I use them all. Here it is. This is the one. It's just like blue sky uh, and cloudy. So that's the one I use. And then um, I did this one here. I'm going to talk about that. This is, I um, was inspired by uh, Tammy. Um, I saw how she did with the white. So it's all included, this technique in this card. So let's get started. First thing you want to do it's have your foam uh, under because we're going to stamp with photopolymer and that makes it a lot easier. First thing, and by the way, the lighthouse, it's from, um, I <coughs> excuse me, I tie the stamp set and our greeting going to be from Beautiful You. I thought those two were going, the saying was perfect, wishing you a brighter day tomorrow because it's a rainy day. So um, I'm going to stamp the first part of the lighthouse with memento ink. So I'm going to put that right here. Voila. Now the second part, it is, um, oh, you know what? We should have done one thing first. Let's do this. Let's do um, where that the horizon going to happen. So let me move this here. So we're going to put the horizon about here. And uh, the one that I show you, I had used Night of Navy. And I decide I'm going to use uh, Inland Indigo. Oops, let's keep that straight here. So I just go on my scrap paper first and push it up. And same over here. I don't even have really to mount my... Um, lighthouse because it's going to be more see it almost looked like that storm there i think it's very cool let's go a little bit more over here here we go now the next step it's to stamp the second part of the lighthouse and that it's in cherry cobbler And I'm going to move this a little bit so I can see because the camera, it's right in my way. It make it difficult to stamp. Uh, and then I'm going to push it back in the camera. So I'm not cheating. It's just that it's so hard to see with the camera on top. Here we go. Voila. Is that pretty? Now, we're going to take our sponge. Uh, no, let's do the grass first. So we're going to use the big, uh, that come in the stamp set too, and you get the opening for your lighthouse. That I'm doing that in crumb cake. Put that right there. And you see, I don't want more water there. I want to keep it up. Instead of using that part, i just going to flip this here. See? Going to put it there. And then I get a little bit, maybe a little bit more there. Here we go. So now it looks more like the ground. We get a little piece in that, but it, I thought just flip it would be good. Now we're going to do the, the grass, but the grass, we're going to do it that it go this way. Because it looks like it's a storm coming in and see the rain, it's coming this way. So that means the wind is going that way. So we're going to use all olive. And we're going to make sure to put our grass blowing that way. See? So 
so I just make sure my grass is blowing all on the same direction with the wind. Now we're going to use our sponge again. So you see all the background was pretty much done. We just did the horizon. Now we're just going to put this darker here. And again, this is Inland Indigo. I went heavy on the side there. I'm going to fix that. So now I'm just going to fix that a bit here because I went kind of heavy. So the storm, it's about done to pass because the light is coming up, right? Here we go. Now, what we're going to do, I like to cover the, the lighthouse. And I know I had my cover. Here it is. So that's my tea that it's ready, but I think I can finish this. If you hear the whistle, I forgot I had put my tea uh, my water on. Now we're going to use um, basic gray. Mm. Okay, let me look for smoky flame. Here it is. So now I got smoky slate. You know what? I'm going to hold it. Here I go. I'm back. I couldn't work with that whistle. Okay, now we're using the gorgeous grunge stamp set for the rain. So that's the stamp set. And we're going to do in all one direction. I was debating if I wanted to have the rain on top of the light else or what. And it don't really show. So let's take it off and you're going to see. So see if I, um, so really the rain can go on top. It's all up to you what you prefer. But remember, go in the same direction. So again, the rain, it's in the smoky slate. Here we go. Maybe a little bit more here. Now, when I go back on top, I stamp off and so we can have different color, you know, different depth of the rain. Now, we're going to use our greeting from Beautiful You. It's a wishing you um, a brighter day tomorrow. And this time, I'm going to use um, an Inland Indigo. The other one I had done... Um, Night of Navy. Here we go. Okay, here's the tip that I learned from Tammy. Oh, first let's do our wave. I'm using white craft ink, and because it's stormy, we're having some white cap. So, and this little stamp, it's part of the uh, stamp set um, I tie. Now here I put some uh, white reinker. I'm using a blender pen. Like I said, this I learned that from Tammy. And I'm using an old, old blender pen that really was not juicy. But if you use a blender pen, the, just put maybe a washi tape around and save that tip for just the craft ink and then you get another tip or you can use a little brush too but I try with the painter's brush and I prefer the blender spin now to cover the um, the sky here we're going to make this part white so really it looked like part it it finished the light out very lovely put it that way and here you can see <clears throat> Let me bring this closer. You can see like the water through it. Well, I want to take that out because I don't want to see the water. It can be like looking old, but I don't want the same color than the water. When the craft ain't going to dry, 
it will be very very lighter so you can keep it lighter or you can come and add another layer to it that's all up to you and then in the little uh, peak hole here porter hole it's called add a little bit you can add in the on the top if you want i just going to add a little bit but not much there here we go maybe a little bit of shadow over here and in the black here just add a little bit of white like i said when it's going to dry it's going to be much much lighter that is it my friend and here i'm going to show you the one that it's finished and even this one i put two layers on it and i could even add a little bit more i think just on this part Voila, see how pretty it really looked like a stormy night. Now I gonna mount that directly on my inland indigo. I'm gonna wait till the white is dry before I'm gonna mount it. If not, it's gonna smear. But here it is, my friend. Perfect um uh, stormy night. Maybe right here I would want to add a little bit more blue. I think it's uh so the, the more you're going to look at it, the more you're going to, here we go, whatever that you prefer. This is it. And again, uh, these two, it's all from the same paper, the uh, scenery, um, scenery, 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 uh, serene scenery. Here we go. And here it is. Those two cards are going to put later on during the week. And you get these uh, two. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, Tammy, for sharing the uh, white paint, white uh, ink with the blender pen. Have a lovely day, my friends. And again, for all the stamping up product, all just above in the eye, you, it's going to bring you to my blog. You're going to have all the supplies lists over there. Thank you and have a lovely day.